Do you drink coffee? During these few decades, coffee seems to have become a popular drink in the world. Last month, our group have visited a world-famous coffee shop, Starbucks, and recorded 15 minutes video clips. Now, let's see how many people are there within these 15 minutes. According to Statista, about 9,960 million kilograms of coffee were consumed last year. What's the cost of drinking coffee? Paying the price only? Probably not. Once we make the coffee, coffee grounds will become a trash instead of being a trash. What can coffee ground be? Now, let's turn this kind of trash into something useful. Can you imagine that? These wonderful products are produced by coffee grounds. After certain manufacturing procedures like drying and compressing, coffee grounds can do more than that. Besides, coffee grounds are good fertilizer. Coffee grounds contain nitrogen, calcium, potassium, iron, phosphorus, and also magnesium. Those are the main elements in chemical fertilizer. We have conducted an experiment to see whether coffee grounds are good fertilizer. Firstly, we put 25 grams of soil in each gardening pot. And to acquire an accurate and clear result, we use soil without any fertilizers and additional nutrients. Subsequently, we planted 10 mangoons which were randomly selected among approximately 300 beans. Then, we water 20 ml of tap water every day for the first 5 days in order to make sure that the beans germinate in the same condition. As shown in the video, there aren't any big differences between those two groups of plants until the fifth day. After five days of germination, we watered mung bean plants in the left side with tap water and the one in the right side with bird coffee grounds mixture. And then we started to record the length of the plants from the sixth day on. Before conducting the experiments, we expected that plants watered with brewed coffee grounds mixture might be taller than the plants watered by tap water. However, the result of the experiment was surprising. The experiment was conducted for 15 days. Length of the stem was measured after the first 5 days. From day 6, coffee-free plants began to grow bigger than coffee-filled plants. And at the end, the one with the COVID grounds were 1.6 cm taller than that with COVID grounds. The result was contrary to what we expect. The plant with COVID grounds were smaller than the normal plant. Also, we found another interesting thing during the experiment. In the garden pot that didn't contain COVID grounds, the bean continued to germinate. While the beans in the garden pot that contain coffee ground no longer germinate. So, why did we get this result in our experiment? Coffee grounds contain most of the nutrition that plants need. According to the data we looked up before the experiment, most of the experiment shows that coffee ground plays a booster on plant growth. However, the situation is a bit more complicated. Nutrition in coffee grounds cannot be absorbed by plants easily. Moreover, while coffee grounds fermenting in soil, it will generate heat, which may kill the plant. The correct process should be ferment coffee grounds with leaf, grass, or water to produce compound fertilizer. This process depends on temperature and humidity, and it needs more time. In our experiment, coffee grounds may not be fermented enough which leads to our bad result. To sum up, coffee grounds may not work as a booster for plants for normal people in Hong Kong. It takes way more time to prepare and not contribute a lot on cutting waste.
However, keep looking for a chance to recycle and be environmental friendly will definitely help on building a better tomorrow.